now 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Max Saparis. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here's a live look at our weather cameras across southern Wisconsin. And what can you see? A lot more than we could see the last several days. Yeah, a crisp horizon looks nice. There's no travel issues today because there's no freezing fog to track. So we well, see that here in downtown Madison on the west side and even in Portage over at Cascade Mountain. Cloudy skies do continue to dominate the forecast, though, especially the rest of today, even heading into the weekend, too. We'll see temps not get much warmer than where we already are, upper 20s, and that's about it the rest of today. The forecast really on cruise control into the weekend because look at how steady the conditions are. Most cloudy skies for Saturday and Sunday. If the kids want to go outside and enjoy the snow, we'll have temps slightly below freezing. That's going to keep the snow pack around, though next week I do think we begin a little bit more of a thaw. Lows this morning, mid upper 20s. We got 27 in Madison, only tacked on a degree so far since our coolest part of the day in the 5 to 6 a.m. hour. We're at 32 right now, Janesville, 25, Baraboo, 30, Montello, but with a light wind from the north, it feels about 5 degrees colder. There's the cloudy skies locally. We're not alone with the clouds that are across much of the region. It's all associated with a broad area of low pressure moving through the mid-Atlantic. That's going to scoot up the I-95 corridor into New England. But even westward we look, we're still seeing, generally speaking, thick clouds. And that's despite a high pressure system in control. Usually when we think of highs, they clear the clouds out. We see lots of sunshine. Not the case. It's keeping us dry, but it's not strong enough to clear the clouds out. So we call it a dirty high. Dirty high moving east, and then we'll see more clouds getting us through the weekend with more seasonal temps. I think five Finally, by Monday, later in the morning and the afternoon is when we get a little bit of some clearing as we have winds from the south. That kind of mixes up our air a bit, and that should shove the low, stubborn clouds out of here. By Thursday, letting the clock run on future track, that's the next opportunity for a light mix. Tough to say what type of precipitation at this point, but it's still seven days out, and until then, it's a dry setup. Your seven days showing upper 20s with thick clouds continuing through the weekend. So uh, you might not even need that heavy coat because nothing's too unbearably cold in your forecast. And in fact, temps actually go up heading into next midweek. We'll get to around the freezing mark on Monday with some sunshine returning. That should warm us up. Upper 20s again Tuesday, sun cloud mix. Wednesday, a similar setup, but even milder in the mid 30s. And there's that chance for a light mix late in the forecast by next Thursday. Until then, dry, a little dreary, but not unbearably cold here, Caroline. And in next week's uh, report, I'll be mm -hmm. doing a little bit of a deeper dive on uh, just how mild this winter's been so far. Yeah, absolutely. It will be really nice to see that sunshine though next week. Yes, we could all use it. Yeah, and that's going to start to begin our thaw a little bit. We'll mm -hmm. see the snow melt, but nothing really too warm either. Yeah. So it should stick around most of next week too. All right. Sounds good, Matt. Yep.